family lived two Italians named the Torrios. One day, they had a child, and his name was Johnny Torrio. At the age of two, Johnny's father dies. <laughs> he and his mother moved to New York City. <laughs> Johnny grows up. After he grows up, he moves to Chicago, where his family lives. In Chicago, Johnny works for his uncle, Big Jim Colosimo. Together they work in the gambling and prostitution business. Alright! Colosimo was proud of Torrio's work and put him in charge of his restaurant called Colosimo's and also put him in charge of his prostitution business. On January 17, 1920, Prohibition kicks in. Torrio sees this as a big opportunity to earn money in alcohol. He goes to Big Jim, but Jim doesn't want to, saying he is happy with the money from the restaurant and prostitution. When at his restaurant, Colosimo was waiting for an order when he was shot. It is believed Torrio hired someone to shoot his uncle. Torrio quickly expands his business, raking in millions. Go. You got the stuff. You got the money. Nice doing business with you. He met young Al Capone, brought him under his wing, and taught him everything he knew about the mobster business. He made Al Capone second in command of his Torrio empire. In 1924, another gangster named O'Banion double crosses Torrio in a brewery deal. Torrio decides to hire another assassin. O'Banion's gang is PO'd, so while Torrio is driving, they shoot him. They point the gun at his temple for the final blow, but they are out of ammo. Torio slowly recovers. He refuses to name the shooters to the police. Torrio eventually went on trial and was fined $5,000. He also spent a year in jail for breaking prohibition laws. After he was freed, he handed the business over to Capone.
He moves back to Italy to safely retire with his millions. Eventually, he goes back to the States to be with Capone during his trial. Then he decides to move to New York. There he dies of a heart attack in a barber's chair. Torrio was considered one of the architects of modern organized crime. Yeah. The end.